under normal circumstances, he wouldn't have asked. But the Bible tells me that if you do not ask, then you may not be given. That's right. If you don't knock, the door might not be open. That's right. Um, in Nigeria, I have created economic zones. The reason for that is to see if we can become self-sufficient. I discussed this with the College of Bishops the other day. That I want to start in the Western Zone with a poultry farm. Um, the estimate for that is about $30,000. And a poultry farm, if I have it up and going in a year, would give us a proceed that I can pay my pastors and presiding. Four economic zones, but I want to start with one, and then we stick on the other one. The second zone is fishery. We want to raise fish, yes. uh, fish farm. And then um, I have discussed with my uh, missionary supervisor in Ghana. Ghana has a, it's a farming industry sector. Yes. So we're going to produce one of the stable foods in Nigeria, Gary in Ghana. Uh, we can produce that and sell to members of our church and beyond and make some money to pay our presiding elders and pastors. The pastors have paid pennies over them, to be very honest with you. They have paid pennies. No pastor earned even up to the equivalent of a hundred naira a month. No one. Uh, I mean, a uh, hundred dollars, I'm sorry. <laughs> the equivalent of a hundred dollars in Nigerian currency is about 14,000 naira. But we are paying our pastors 5,000, some 2,000. 